Is that, do you think, utterly central to consciousness? I mean, and when you, when you say that, are you saying that it has to be the things that make us up, you know, nitrogen, oxygen, carbon, hydrogen, sulfur? I mean, if you change out the molecules, could it still work? Or is it really essential that we got here from some evolutionary trail that took us, you know, from single-celled organisms to here? Is that the vital part of what a biological system provides? I mean, there's so many things about... Um how we are as animals, how other animals are as the animals they are, that depend on their biology. Metabolism depends on, on biology, it depends on chemistry. Digestion does, many things do. So I think as a sort of first approximation, it makes sense to me to think that consciousness is another, kind of, is another biological property. It doesn't mean that necessarily only biological systems can be conscious. But as you said, that's the only system we know of so far. Yeah. And we'll try and use metaphors, and we have this metaphor as the brain as a computer, but it's easy to confuse a metaphor with the thing itself. And, and when we do that, that's when I think we, we might get into trouble and think consciousness could be stripped away from the stuff that we're made of and implemented in, in some other thing. So 